Hey everyone, what is going on? It's Baron here. Today we're going to be playing a game called Dead Side. Now, it's an open world survival. It's nothing like uh, PUBG or Fortnite or anything. It's early access at the moment, so what we're doing is we're sort of just getting the feel for it. Is there a player down there? I don't know. Anyway, so it's an open world survival. Um, so it's PvP, PvE. I think it's PvE. I haven't really looked too much into it, but I just thought I'd get it because I didn't actually have to pay for it. I do have like money from when I sold stuff from, from Counter-Strike, like uh, gun skins and whatnot. So we're just going to get into this. So it feels really fluid. I don't know what's been going on, but I did get into a server before and it had a lot of like FPS lag where you can see it jump. Um, I have got on Epic. I did turn my field of view down just a little bit. Uh, I could probably run with a full field of view because it was actually pretty good. It's just I was getting FPS lag, so I was just trying different things to see what it would do. Um, but it does feel really good. Like as you can see, it's pretty detailed. The buildings and all the trees are quite detailed. It's pretty nice. I like it. If you want to get this, it's on Steam uh, under early access. It is called Dead Side, so. If you're watching this video, you probably specifically searched for this. If not, well then, welcome. Hope you enjoy. I uh, hope this game is going to satisfy your needs for adventure. As you can see, there is another person around me right now. I don't know if that's an AI, if that's an actual player, if they're shooting at me or someone else. There is someone out there. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah, oh, I didn't reload the weapon! Ah, oh, god dang it! We're gonna get a shirt because each piece of item of clothing that you put on has two slots. If you have a back, like a vest, it'll have more. If you have a backpack, obviously it has a lot. So I don't know if the different backpacks in this like give you a different amount of slots. Or what we're gonna do is we'll tear those up because. The more rags we have, the better. That was insane. That was intense. That was actually pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to snipe this person. I'm going to stab him. Stab him, stab, stab. Nah. Oh, we're getting shot at. There's someone shooting at us. So there is... Help! Help. Is there a V button? For... Hello! I'm running. Like, I am definitely running. I'm not sticking around for this. Okay, now we got a gun. Alright, so we're going to put the nails down. Okay, so... We've got bullets, and we have a full clip. Currently on us. So, and as you can hear, it sort of crackles when you're walking on the foliage. There's a player just there. I don't know if you've seen, but there is someone there. And they're not at all concerned about, are they a fresh spawn? So I'm not really going to try and do anything. Okay, so C, X changes your rate of fire. So we got them. Got them too. No. Right. Okay, so he had a sawn off shotgun. Okay. 
Okay, people in this are really stupid. Alright, so... These people are really stupid. So yeah, as you can see, we've got traders here as well. So the traders have stuff like 15,000. Like, I I can't even get that. Which I get 1,000 for that and 500 for that. So that's just their weapons. Uh, if you go to their equipment, I guess it changes. So it's worth 2,500. What have I got? Hunter Vest. So ultimately, I'm losing more so tools and recovery items so I don't think I have any points right now so I guess okay so that's how you sell Uh, okay, so this makes a little bit of sense. Alright, so we don't typically need a knife. So I wonder if I were to go to him. Okay, so it shows me items that I can sell. And that's what you need to craft certain items, I guess. So, we'll go back out into the wilderness and we'll do some more exploring. But we just got to make sure no one follows us out of this safe zone because then we'll have uh, some troubles, obviously. I wouldn't be surprised if there were people camping on the edges of the safe zones to get people that are geared or just like traded items especially with the worth of some of those that stuff in there like it wouldn't really surprise me all that much okay so we're getting close to the edge but the thing is I wonder if there's any looting within a safe zone there probably wouldn't be so it looks like these red flags are the start of a safe zone and when you go past them you're exiting that safe zone. Sounds like someone in here around here. And I think they may know that I'm here. Unless they're looting as well. I was coming from over there, but I'm not entirely sure. Man, it takes a lot of jump fence in this. So are these purely aesthetic? Or do they actually serve some sort of a purpose besides having loot around them? Seems like they're purely aesthetic and they do have loot around them though. Shots. 
They must be pretty close if you can hear them. I would go over there, but yeah, it's probably been that construction site. I think it might have been where I killed those other people. Seems like a pretty hot area. But that's been a video on Dead Side. I hope everyone enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more of this. Because this seems like a really fun game. But anyway, that's Baron out. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.